Kobe and Vanessa Bryant were married for 18 years, first meeting before either one of them was 21 years old. Throughout the years, the two managed to stay together through the ups and downs of marriage, bringing four children into the world and displaying a true love for each other that everyone could see. Here's how their love story began. Vanessa Lane was born on May 5, 1982 in Los Angeles, California. According to the LA Times, Vanessa's parents were very protective, so she didn't date much during her teen years. In 1999, during the summer before her senior year of high school, Vanessa was spotted by a talent scout at a concert who asked her to appear in a hip-hop music video. The music video was for the song g Up featuring Snoop Dogg and the East Siders. Vanessa was hired to be one of the main video girls and wore a metallic silver bikini while dancing in a convertible lowrider. That same year, Kobe Bryant, who had been dabbling in the music business, was filming a video for his first song titled Kobe, directed by Hype Williams. Vanessa was hired to be the video girl for Kobe Bryant's music video and the two met on set, instantly connecting. Vanessa was 17 years old and Kobe was 20. Kobe later said in an Instagram post that he asked Vanessa for her number that same night and later took her to Disneyland for their first date. Because Vanessa was still in high school when she began dating Kobe, their relationship caused a lot of commotion at her marina high in Huntington Beach, California. It was reported that Kobe would send flowers to her class and that he would pick her up after school in his Mercedes. It was even noted that news helicopters could be seen flying over the school trying to get pictures of the two of them together. These distractions eventually became too much for the school's administration, and Vanessa was asked to finish her high school year from home. Six months after they met, Kobe proposed to Vanessa on her 18th birthday. Immediately after their engagement, Vanessa became a permanent fixture on Kobe's arm before Lakers games and during red carpet events. While everything seemed to be moving along perfect for the two lovebirds, Kobe's family was not as excited about the new relationship. Kobe's parents reportedly didn't approve of their son getting married so young and to a woman who was of Mexican and Irish descent. This disagreement caused Kobe and his parents to become estranged and would cause a strain on their relationship that would never fully heal. On April 18, 2001, Kobe and Vanessa got married at St. Edward, the Confessor Catholic Church in Southern California's Dana Point. The ceremony was intimate and had only 12 guests. Neither Kobe's parents nor his two sisters were in attendance. A surprising fact was that Kobe did not ask Vanessa to sign a prenuptial agreement, a decision many thought he would end up regretting later. The couple's first child, Natalia Diamante Bryant, was born on January 19, 2003. But just four months after celebrating the birth of their daughter, news spread that a 19-year-old woman was accusing Kobe of sexually assaulting her in June of 2003 in Denver. Prosecutors would later drop the case in September 2004, with the two parties settling a civil suit out of court for an undisclosed amount. During the entire trial, Vanessa supported her husband 100%. In a statement to the public, Vanessa was quoted as saying, I know that my husband has made a mistake, the mistake of adultery. He and I will have to deal with that within our marriage, and we will do so. He is not a criminal. With the court case behind them and a fresh outlook on the future, Kobe got a tattoo on his right bicep to honor Vanessa, which included her name and angel wings. They also had their second child, Gianna Bryant, who was born on May 1st, 2006. Years later, in the 2015 Showtime documentary Muse, Kobe would reveal that Vanessa had a miscarriage during the trial while expecting their second child. He said he blamed himself and that he wondered if the stress she'd experienced during his cheating scandal and sexual assault charge led to the miscarriage. Over the next few years, the couple would move into the world of philanthropy, establishing the Vivo Foundation in 2007, which would later become known as the Kobe and Vanessa Bryant Foundation. Both were dedicated to helping children and families in need by supplying financial and educational resources and encouraging young people to stay active through sports. They also worked to fight homelessness, supported homeless youth in Los Angeles, and supported various charities, including Stand Up to Cancer and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. In 2011, after 10 years together, it appeared that Kobe and Vanessa's marriage might be over after Vanessa filed for divorce in Orange County Superior Court, citing irreconcilable differences. But in January 2013, the couple made an announcement that they had called off the divorce and were excited about their future together. 
In 2016, Kobe and Vanessa welcomed their third child, Bianca Bryant, shortly before Kobe announced his retirement. And three years later, the couple welcomed their fourth daughter in 2019, Capri Kobe Bryant. After retiring, Vanessa and their daughters became Kobe's main priority as his image shifted from a basketball superstar to a dedicated family man focused on working with charities and women's sports. Tragically, on January 26, 2020, Kobe Bryant was killed in a crash when the helicopter carrying him, his daughter, and seven others went down in Calabasas, California. The group was headed to Kobe's Mamba Academy to take part in a basketball tournament. As the world mourned Kobe's death, most talked of his triumphs on the court and to the world of basketball. But if you look close, you will see that one of his greatest achievements was in the family that he and Vanessa built, who despite their ups and downs, remained committed to one another for over 18 years.